What's going on YouTube? Giasno right here. So in today's video I'm going to show you how to take an iPhone, iPad or iPod Touch out of the recovery mode and make it boot normally using Fixbo, a program by iMyPhone, the sponsors of this video. So if you want to get the program you have to go in here at iMyPhone and get the Fixbo program which is available in a free trial for both Windows and Mac OS. Now this program cannot only take your iPhone from the recovery mode or to recovery mode, you can also fix a whole range of problems with the iOS. So it's including in here the iPhone stuck on the Apple logo, white screen of that, black screen of that, of course the iPhone frozen, iPhone boot loop, restore failures, update failures and so on and even the forgot lock screen password. Now please do keep in mind that this is not going to bypass iCloud. It's going to restore the phone so that you no longer see the, um, you know, wait for a couple of years uh, screen when you forget your passcode, but you still need to know your iCloud password if the iCloud account is on the phone. And then of course this also allows you to downgrade to various other versions, but of course the version has to be signed. You cannot downgrade to a version that is no longer signed. However, if the version is signed, you have the option to switch between the signed versions, but not unsigned ones. So you cannot downgrade to iOS 9 or something. Anyways, going ahead, we're going to fix the iPhone stuck in recovery mode. So the program looks like this and the installation is pretty simple. In order to install it on a Mac, all you have to do is to download the uh, DMG file and mount it and it will look like this. And all you have to do is to drag it and drop it into the applications folder. I already have it, so I'm not going to do so, but that's pretty much it. On Windows, however, you're going to have to follow the normal installation process for the Windows setup. Now, I'm going to open the program and show you the uh, interface. The program has been renamed to be Fixpo, but it's also known as formerly iOS System Recovery. So this is the same program as iOS System Recovery, but of course with new features and so on. So we have in here the device, I connected the device already, and we have three different modes. So we have the standard mode, which allows us to fix white screen, black screen, the iDevice stuck on the Apple logo, iTunes errors, and so on. And this is actually very useful because normally in this mode, you wouldn't have to worry about, you know, your data being lost and so on. It will try to update to the latest version and fix most of the problems that are software related. However, please do keep in mind that this is going to update your device to the latest available version and you can choose between the signed versions, 12.1.1 or 12.1. So if you want to downgrade to 12.1 from the latest version, you can still do so while iOS 12.1 is still signed. So yeah, it identified my device model pretty quickly and I can press download in here and it's going to download the IPSW automatically and restore it to the phone again automatically without having me to download anything manually, without having me to search for the IPSW manually and so on. So this program is very well built for the beginners. Then of course if the uh, standard mode doesn't fix your problem, you can go with the advanced mode, which is definitely going to fix your phone if it's a software issue, but of course it's going to remove all your data and this one also updates your device to the latest version and downloads the latest version of the software. However, this one of course works for the uh, passcode as well because it erases the entire contents of the phone. However, as I mentioned, you still need to know your iCloud password when you set up the phone after the restore, but you don't need to know your passcode. And then of course we have the exit recovery mode, which you're going to use today, and this one allows you to take the phone from the recovery mode or to recovery mode. And as you can see, this is how my phone looks like for the moment. In fact, the iPod, because this is an iPod Touch 6th generation. It shows this iTunes logo in here with a power our cable, an arrow and a link at the top, which is a link to the Apple support. Now the phone does this every time I reboot it. So in order to exit the recovery mode and have the phone boot normally, I press exit recovery mode in here, it's going to show you this spinner in here and the phone is now rebooting and it shows the Apple logo. So the phone is finally starting. If I want to put the phone in recovery mode, for example in preparation for a restore or something like that, I can use the button in here and I will be able to do so. And as you can see, the phone is now finally on. So yeah, the phone is um, is finally available. Let me actually play something on it so that you can see it, um, it powered on. There you go. 
So yeah, definitely the phone is now working. And if I want to enter recovery mode, now I can definitely do so. And as I said, there are reasons you would want to be in recovery mode. For example, in preparation for restore, or if you want to, I don't know, update the phone through an IPSW, or if you want to play with iRecovery and get some information from the iBoot and so on. But normally you would want to be in normal mode, which is the mode I'm in right now. So as you can see, the program does its job quite fast and it's definitely great. This is pretty much it, guys. Thank you for watching. Check the program out in the link below. I'm Geosnow. Until the next time, peace out.